find the area of the parallelogram in three space with corners at 101, 213, 305, and 417. How do we proceed? Well, if I have two vectors in three space, let's suppose they're based at the origin, I get a parallelogram by taking the fourth corner by taking the sum of our vectors. Then, the rule for the area is, take the cross product of your u and your v, then take its length. That's gonna be the area of the parallelogram. Now, why is that true? Let's take a look at the picture of the parallelogram. So I'll have u along the bottom, v along the side. Okay, we have a parallelogram, so the area is base times height. Our base is gonna be the length of u. If I put the angle theta in, then the height is just gonna be the length of v times sine theta. When we define the cross product, one of the defining characteristics is that the length of the vector that comes out is given by length u, length v, sine theta. So if I can compute this cross product, then that's gonna give me my area. So first thing we need is, we're gonna need two vectors at the origin. So what we'll do is, we'll take a look at our points and we're just gonna to wanna to shift the parallelogram from okay, wherever it is to the origin. So I'm gonna move 101 to the origin, which means I'm gonna subtract 101 off of each of my points. When I do that, I'll get, okay, 101 goes to 000, I'll have 112, 204, and 316. Which ones do I use for U and V? Well, if you note, 316 is the sum of 112 and 204, so that's gonna be the far corner. So my U is gonna be 112, 204 is gonna be my V. Now, we're gonna take the cross product. So our procedure for that is just gonna be, we're gonna put I, J, and K, top of a matrix. We load in our two vectors. I write all that stuff out all over again right next to it. And that's gonna be, go down three diagonals multiplying, come back three diagonals to the left multiplying, and then take the difference. So when I do that, what do we get? We get 4i, 4j, 0k, coming back I'll have 0i, 4j, 2k, and we put minus signs on these. So you'll note what survives is gonna be 4i minus 2k, or the vector 4, 0, minus 2. We take the length of that, what do we get? We're to get square root of, okay, 16 plus four, so I get square root of 20 for the area of my parallelogram.